works it behind. Wallace back into the team this week and it started well. Caught. Flicked out by Watts. Wallace gets a piece of it. Addison. Schoolyard pack marking there required. Wallace, good play. Gets the ball out. There's Premi looking for their first win in 2012. Wallace flicks it out to Coot. Oh, they're on here. And it's a beautiful kick. Opens it up for Magna. Magna's going to get blindsided. Mitchell came, uh, Mitch Wallace came from nowhere and got it. Son of a gun. Stephen Wallace, of course, the former Bulldog captain. So Mitch Wallace comes in to ice this game. His first goal in football is a memorable one because it will deliver the Bulldogs' first victory in season 2012. Hello, everyone. I'm Anthony Kapitanovich, the Managing Director of Cambo Private Wealth. Uh, I'm joined today by the uh, newest member of the Acambo team and uh, Bulldogs young gun, Mitch Wallace. Okay, Mitch, how are you? Anthony, Good how are you? Good to see you, mate. Good to see you, too. Tell me, how did your involvement with Acambo begin? Well, you and Dad became close friends through basketball and uh, he became a client of yours. Yeah, and, uh, true. You know, you both had similar interests yep. and then he's now the CEO. Yeah, that's right. I had, a, I had an interest in the, in the share market. And then, you know, I had the gradual position in 2012 for the yep, Cambo. Yep. Seen a while ago. Yeah, seen a while ago, yeah. a long time ago. But, yeah, from there it just sort of started. Yeah, okay. So tell me, um, what appealed to you most about a Cambo? Knowing that Australia's got an ageing population and there's uh, $1.6 trillion in the, in the superannuation market, um, people are going to need help. A lot, isn't it? Yeah, people are going to want advice on what they want to do with their money, um, how they should invest. and. Um, during my time as a, as a graduate in 2012, I uh, got to sit in on some important meetings uh, with potential clients, with, with existing clients, and I got to see firsthand uh, the professionalism, the integrity, and the people skills needed in this line of work. Did you enjoy that? Yeah, I, I loved it. And you know, overwhelmingly, you put the, the clients first. You, you want to achieve their, their, their desired objectives. You know, the, the work that the financial advisors were doing was, was outstanding. Their, uh, their depth of knowledge and understanding of the market is, you know, is amazing. Yeah, they yeah, got a good team. Yeah, yeah. And um, you know, the, the business partners have have strong values. Um, they set high standards, and the employees are, you know, are accountable to that. Yeah. Hey, um, now obviously, uh, you know, you're interested also because you're doing a course of study that's a lot. Tell me a bit about your studies. Uh, well, I graduated from St Kevin's in 2010. Um, I attend Victoria University at the present time. I'm doing a, a Bachelor of Accounting. Um, hey, business. Are you one of the ambassadors involved there? Yeah, well, there's a, there's a great relationship between Victoria University and the Western Bulldogs. Um, one that sees both parties benefit from. I think uh, the students at Victoria University have the chance to come to our, our workplace, um, do investigations, do studies on, and research on, on physical activity. But in turn, we get to go to Victoria University and use their world-class facilities, yeah. such as the altitude chamber. And it's not the only father-son situation you're involved in. Your dad keeps telling me he's some legend at you. Is that true? Uh, he did graduate from there. Uh, I haven't seen his photo anywhere, but from all reports, <laughs> the longer it goes on, the better, better student he was. Oh, beautiful. So how do you um, find time? You know, footy's obviously very time consuming. How do you find time to study? Well, the demands of an AFL footballer are pretty extreme, but I've got a passion for study. Uh, we get one day off a week, and I, I, I go to uni at nights. Um, still, if you're passionate enough about something, you'll find time. So, uh, a lot of players feel like footy's too full on, but you know, there's an area of my life, an aspect of my life that, that is devoted to study. So. Oh, that's great. Now, um, obviously, you're quite ambitious. Uh, what are your future ambitions in business like? Well, at the moment, I'm a professional footballer, so that I devote most of my time to uh, trying to achieve the ultimate success, uh, the ultimate team success, and winning a premiership. But, you know, footy doesn't last forever. So much like, much like my ambitions in sport, uh, I want to become highly successful in the field of business. I feel that I want to uh, be successful in the fields of accounting, commerce and financial markets. And I see that Cambo is a vehicle to, to foster those ambitions. Yeah. So tell me, um, obviously you study, you know, being involved in a Cambo, um, doing the graduate program. Do you think these things have helped you in your footy? Definitely. Um, I think it's helped me with, with my leadership, uh, not only around the club, but definitely on game day. But it's also given me the ability to have different types of conversations with not only players, but with staff and administration. And, um, it's very interesting to see the different dynamics involved and the, um, the problems faced by, by people running a, a football club. 
Okay. Um, now, obviously footy clubs are all going to be about game day and training and fitness and, and well-being. Um, has anyone taken an interest in, in your business uh, interest and, and your ambitions there? Uh, definitely. Uh, players such as Matthew Boyd, who just completed his MBA. Uh, Liam Picken, who's doing similar areas of study. Yeah. And, the, and the CEO, Simon Garlic, who's had a, you know, a career in business. He's very interested. Yeah. And he said that you know, in any way that he could help me yep. in, uh, in my business practices, yep. um, he'd be more than happy to help. Yeah, no doubt they think you're going to be a good footballer. Do they give you any chance of being a good businessman? Uh, they do. Um, they know that I'm a, I work extremely hard and I'm involved with the right people, such as yourself. Oh, good, so, good, good, good. yeah, they, they, they all take an interest. But like I said, we're, we're just starting out, so very interested to see where I end up in a couple of years. Oh, beautiful. So, we all know that your passion's footy. What's happening at the Kennel? 2014 season just started. How's that playing out for you? Well, uh, we finished 2013 off very well. Um, so we're very optimistic leading into the pre-season. Um, but it's very exciting times. Uh, we believe that we've got a team and a, a game plan that's going to hold up in big games this year. And, you know, for the first time in a long time, we've mentioned the word finals. But we know that there's got a, a lot to go right and a lot of people have to buy into the right sort of things for that to happen, but we need all the support we can get. So for all those Bulldogs fans out there, please jump on board. Um, the more support, the better. Beautiful. Now, the Cambo Private Wealth is in the advice business. Now, I know you're only 22. Not, not yet 22? Not yet 22. Almost 22. Yep. Um, I'm pretty sure you would have got some advice over your journey. What's the one piece of advice that you've received that, that, that sticks in your brain? Um, well, there's one bit of advice that sticks out. Um, under 12s, State Representative Coach Andrew Nicholl. Uh, he told me at the end of our carnival that he, sa he said to me, uh, although it's very important to work on your weaknesses, um, it's nearly more important to, to work on your strengths. So they remain your point of difference. So I take that in all the, the footballing aspirations that I do and, and obviously in business as well. Oh, you know, I've learned something now as well. Now, Anthony, you've asked me a fair few questions. How about I ask you a question? All right. So I'm very interested about your background and where you come from. So yeah. how did how did the Cambo come about? Where did that start? Uh, and, and very good question, Mitch. Um, well, Cambo started in 2007. Um, me and a couple of colleagues were uh, at a uh, large American broking firm called Solomon Smith Barney. Um, and uh, from there, the three of us decided that um, perhaps we could go and try and um, be more entrepreneurial and do this ourselves. We had a fantastic loyal client base even at that point in time. So. Uh, we took the, the big step and most people that are in business will, will remember this feeling, you, you sort of jump into um, a bit of the unknown, um, but it's, it's obviously very rewarding. So from there, uh, we just started our business um, in, a, in a very sort of small way, um, we probably had about a quarter of the clients that we've got today in terms of numbers, um, and you know today we're, we're managing nearly $250 million. Back then, it was probably something closer to 40 or 50. So wow. that's how it started, and it's obviously grown, um, grown considerably since then. Now, what do you do away from study, footy? No doubt you've got a girlfriend. Um, in fact, I know you've got a girlfriend. She's beautiful. Anyway. Um, and then now business. Um, what do you do outside? What do you do for fun? Apart so, from hanging around with me. Yeah, so I'm very family orientated. Uh, I still live at home, so I love going on holidays with my family. Um, preferably to a beach destination, such as Noosa, Queensland. But uh, I, I love fishing, um, but I'm also a big advocate for, the, for professional sports. I love watching the NFL, uh, Major League Soccer, obviously the AFL. So, But um, I'm into my food as well. Uh, you yeah, know, me, yeah. We love going out to love nice restaurants. Um, so, yeah, so obviously... Um, so you've got time for fun. Yeah, football and, and business consume your life a lot, but you know, you've got to take time out of your life to, to enjoy what life has to offer, so. Very good, mate. Well, mate, I'm very proud of you, very pleased to have you as part of the team at Acambo, um, and I know uh, all the other guys at, um, at Acambo are very pleased, and we're uh, going to watch your, uh, your football career with intent, um, and wish you all the best, but we can't wait for you to come across and uh, start your business journey. So thanks very much Thank for today, mate. mate. Uh, very excited at the opportunity. Good to can't see you. Can't wait. Good to see you, mate.